How? <laughs> it's a lovely evening, so I thought I'd do some cracking on. First of all, oh, get the kettle on. See you in a bit. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Still cracking on at the allotment. But get the kettle on. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. Right, it's a bit windy outside, so I'll talk you in here because it's easier. Ooh, bit hot, that day. I let it cool down a bit. Eh, uh, I like I say it's a nice evening, so I thought I'd come over and do a little bit more tidying up for the council. Which, by the way, I haven't had an email back yet. It's been a week now. I've, I've, all what I did is I took some pictures. I posted them on Facebook, you might have seen them. And I just says basically, can you explain which parts of me garden is untidy uh, and uncultivated? Because I can't see. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I haven't had a reply. So, I was, I, you know, it's not as if I never tidied my garden up in the first place. So, tonight I will be tidying up. Also, there's a few harvests. I've been getting out the, the Charlottes there. Because it's starting to die off, um, so I'll, I'll, I've left a plant there. See what happens to that. Because there's another one. I need to get them out. They're starting to die off. I don't know if they're starting to get blight or not. So they're coming up tonight anyway. Out they come. Oh, that is hot there. Oh, hi. By the way, hey, hey. Have you noticed? I had a bit of a shave, but I had a bit of a an accident with the 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 scissors the other night so I had to take the sides off but I've kept the beard right anyway um, my sweet corn I might pull one of them off as well because they look like they're ready and I'll show you around later on but for now I'm going to finish my cuppa and have a tab so I'll see you in a bit right so if you can see most of my charlotte are up that one there is the last one and it looks like it's just starting to get blight and as I was looking there there's one of these a steamer that looks like it's starting to get blight as well so I'm gonna dig both of them out so you can call this a potato reveal but I don't know what they'll be like so I crack on anyway But uh, not too bad. I didn't expect loads of yield off that lake because, like I say, it was dying off. Um, these are the Charlotte and them a steamer look exactly the same. So I'll put them in a different uh, tray and then I'll wash them up in that and show you at the end. Okay, folks, that's about it for the night. I've had enough. I'm going to wrap up. Um, I don't know if I, I've showed you or not since the last time I had a little tidy up I know I made a little video for me Dave's allotment Facebook page but anyway I've had a tidy up let's see what you think of it new there's some I put some signs up just in case anybody gets uh, confused but uh, it's a lot tidier there now I take us into the into the plot So they should have no complaints here like as you can see there and there's the 
the Bug Hotel. I've scraped back all of the everything. It's all clear there. I don't know what to plant there. We'll we'll have to think about that when the other time when the time comes. But aye, it's much tidier here. Here. I've even tidied up on this side. But I shouldn't have to, you know, the ponds and all that, it's all wildlife area. Look, there's some wildlife there. Right on cue. So I am may uh, I can't do anything else to that. That's it. If that's not tidy enough for the men, I don't know what else to do. I've cut back all of this today as well when I was here. Um, so the next stage is just to give it a quick rake back and dig it over. It, there's only so much you can do before you get sick. This bed's clear now-ish, so is this one. There's just a few bits of wood and, and ladders and stuff which can be shifted somewhere else. But I have all of these, there was a bloody rose hip bush thing there. That was a nightmare. So this pail can just stay there until I can be bothered to move it, which will probably be tomorrow. I've dug my taties out there, as you can see, the rest of them are doing okay. Now I don't know if that's just starting to die off or it's blight. I've never really had any bother with blight, especially up here in the northeast. Blight was, wasn't even heard of, but for the past few years we've started getting it. So I don't know what's happening. The climate, anyway, ah, oh, I was having a little feel around in me taties in the tyres, and this is just grass, remember, it's just filled with grass, now I was having a feel around there, and look at these, clean as a whistle, pulled straight out, these are the Charlotte ones, obviously, but they're all there, uh, look at that, clean, can you good? Yeah, I'll stick them in my pocket. I don't know if there's anything here. Let's have a... Let's have a feel. No. Can't feel anything there, like. Oh, yeah. There's got to be something. Oh, there's one. That's a Picasso, not very big, but clean. Let's leave it back there. There's beetroot that I planted out late, it's starting to pick up there now. The kaolettes and the kale and the cabbages are all just the same. Coming on strong all of it, all the way. The kale, kaolettes are getting bigger. Take a while for them to get the sprout size like, but that's what it's all about. Yeah, my onions, that's the the last of them there, which are standing up straight, so I'll just leave them and let them flop over by themselves. These clay gate pomean apples, there's still plenty on. I'll show you. I was going to try and zoom in there, but I know for a fact it wouldn't have worked. There you are. Still not ready to come off yet, like, but look at all of them there. Look at all them. There's, oh, look at that, that's kind of rotten, that one. Get them off. Get the rotten ones off. But I clear gate per main, it's absolutely covered. And the taste nice. I had a tidy up with me herb bed as well because I was getting a bit out of hand. Got all sorts in there lemon balm, everything. <laughs> everything. Oregano, chives. Uh, I kind of think of all of the names at the minute, so that's me herb bed anyway. That's bay, I know that. These runner bean uh, blue lake climbers are still climbing. I've got rid of the broad beans now, that's just the pile there of the the plant. Pulled them peas out because there was an out on them. I don't know what these are like. <laughs> I know they need thinning out. 
But they are now, they're thickening up there. I'll give them a few more weeks. The parsnips, they're doing alright now. Uh, been getting plenty of blackberries. I've pulled off a sweet corn, I'll show you that later. But I am getting plenty of blackberries. There's enough for me and the birds. So everybody's happy. Me pumpkin. Now there is one, where is it? That is getting bigger. So I think I might have a pumpkin on eventually. But the plant's grown a canny bit like since the last video. Hi me sweet corn. Doing champion. These onions are doing canny as well. Everything's doing all right. This one especially, look at the size of that. You can't really tell. But it's big. You just have to take my word for it. These potatoes will be ready to come out soon as well. They're starting to die off. They're the British Queen. And they're the loose ones I had left. The Picasso and the Charlotte are in there. These seem to be doing the best out of the lot of them, actually. So you just never know. I haven't tidied up round here. I've had a tidy up. I've cut back my comfrey and stuck it in the bin over there. Now that is starting to produce comfrey juice. So I've been feeding the tomatoes on that. I've had a clear up around here as well. That's just all to burn. Let's clear all this. There's no, no note for next door to say anything about. Oh, well, listen, I need some wood chips. That's what I'm waiting for. Wood chips off the council. I asked them. Well, you know I did. For the bit down there. I asked them months ago. Just after the greenhouse was finished. So that's a kind of few months ago now. Uh, anyway, ha, I'm blabbering like usual. This is going to be a fire pile in a couple of weeks. If it stays dry, that'll just dry out nicely and get burned straight away. All the sweet peas are coming to an end now, so I've just left these on so I can get seeds for next year. Annie's rose here. It's starting to bloom again. Lovely little roses, like. Lovely. I wish I would focus in. Um, what else? Oh, I'm a sunflower. It's getting bigger every day. I've had to properly stake it up now because it's getting top heavy. Oh, look at that. Right on cue. Enjoy, B. Oh, I'm focusing. Now I'll leave it be. Wah, wah. Here's my harvest of the potatoes. These are the Charlotte. These are the clean ones. Are the ones I dug out today. And these are other ones were off two plants. Just let them dry out. Not bad size though. Just how I like them. That's another one out of the tires there. Which reminds us, they're in my pocket. So that's not too bad. And these are the, um, the steamer ones. Nice for boiling. Not too bad. Like I say, these ones were dying off quicker than the others. So the other ones should be bigger than that. Blackberries. There are kind of few there. It cost you a few quid in the shops that. But... Mmm, blackberries, tomatoes, there's my first pickings, I've already had like eight, three or four of them, lovely they are, I prefer the Shirley's to the store at exhibitions like, there's my first sweet corn, not quite ready, but look at that, first time I've got every, nearly every single corn to set, it's not ready yet like, because like, when I, when you, press the corn it's still like milky it's clear sorry but anyway there's my last um, 
lots of the broad beans as well the cucumbers the market more getting a load of them off and a load of these off still it's all good in the hood right I'll just leave that there because I'm going to take a picture later on because I like doing things like that uh, <laughs> these are starting to die off now as well these are the last ones pretty and smell lovely these flowers right this is a clematis this is a Ville de Leon or something now this one on the other side isn't the same but it's got exactly the same flowers on so what's all that about I got them both from B&M's so they're, they're probably just the same bloody plant but it doesn't matter the grown that's all that counts that's the last of me dahlias there I have it de-headed and I don't think I'll get any more but I'll leave them there to see what happens this honeysuckle is doing fantastic it's going to start climbing along there soon which is the intention in the first place right into the greenhouse because I've got a query I've got a question for, for folks oh where did I put it where did I put that I just had a little bit of a tidy up and you know what I kind of find what I wanted right there that's it now I was picking some cucumbers off the other day and I noticed one which I pulled off it was sort of going grey at the bottom like that it's all like mushy grey powder stuff what's that does anybody know you probably do because I don't know but hey, please help if you, if you do know what that is I just pulled it off because I, did, I didn't want it to affect anything else the market more they're doing a canny to rub the knobbly bits off you'll be harried I'm not sure if this melon's going to come to anything this one's dying off by the looks of it so you're my only hope there matey there's my onions drying off doing canny there not bad I've been stripping off the more leaves on the tomatoes as you can see they're, low, they're absolutely covered all the way and it's starting to ripen up now nicely some of the trusses are starting to break but they should still be all right. Well, I'm pleased with me tomatoes this year. This ugly parsnip challenge, parsnip, is going insane. I, I, I kind of wait to see. What, oh, hey, that is. Whoa! That is thick. That's mental. Oh, I can't wait to pull that out. Let's see what's happening to this now. Oh, that's just staying the same size now. That's the carrot challenge, obviously. That'll be ready. The last time I did a carrot challenge, it was on my birthday, which was the 22nd of August. So I might pull that on the 22nd of August this year as well. The potato that I planted in the where the garlic was, is romping away. I've earthed it up now twice. Uh, we're talking about the garlic, that's the garlic there. Look, did sort of split. <laughs> it is sort of like cloves. It's split into two. But you know, I still eat that like. That one's just a mini one. But that's the best garlic I can grow this year. I'm never going to grow it again. Talking about garlic, I think this is just about ready now. The seed thing is going to explode, so I'm, this is going to be a first as well, folks. I'm going to dig it up for you right now. Um, I'm going to just put up. Yes, it will. Oh, look at that. Look at that, though. <laughs> hey, that's all right. Oh, it's got them little node things on that Jeff's all about. Take them off and plant them again. That's alright. 
It's definitely closed at four, you think? Well, not half, smell it. Well, that's the elephant garlic anyway, but woohoo, elephant garlic, ooh. I'll just leave that there to dry out. Oof, garlic smell. <laughs> uh, right, that's it, that's it, folks. I've had enough now. You've probably had enough as well. So I'm just going to sign off, say ta -ra. see you later, and all that kind of thing. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, most of all, commenting, liking, and subscribing and everything, and all that kind of thing. It's all good. Thank you. Um, what else can I say? See you in the next one, because there'll be some planting. I'm going to do some more tidying up, start there, preparing the beds for autumn, and next year, already. But there is some stuff I will be planting, because there is some stuff you can still plant. So, thanks for watching once again, folks, and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.